The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we got to come back to the truth that we were once the greatest nation on earth. But we failed because of what? Why do y'all think we ended up at the bottom? Give me Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 5. When you look at black people, how old are you, bro? Be honest with me. Name one race of people that don't want to be like black people. They follow everything we do, but fuck, tell me I'm lying. Everything black people do, everybody else want to follow and be like us. So if everybody want to be like us, how do we end up at the bottom of the world? If you go to Russia, if you go to Europe, if you go to China, they talk about you. They call you nigga. They call you cap. They call you monkey. They, everywhere you go, they got a derogatory term for us as a people. But so why did this happen? We the smartest on the earth. We the strongest, the fastest. We just got up a four hundred years slavery. Yeah, right back at the top of the earth. How is that? The spirit within you belongs to the creator, heaven and earth. Yeah. 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 Kids, you got kids, you got sons and daughters. Watch this, you got a son and daughter. How old is your son? Nine years old. Watch this, bro. So if your son go out there with his friend and they start throwing rocks at cars and busting windows, who but you whoop? You whooping your sons, right? Look at the streets in the community. That's why God judging us the way we are because you belong to him. You don't have a damn about no white man. The white man drop bombs all across the earth and they still riding around in Lamborghinis sitting at the top of the mountain. How is that? Team. But we at the bottom of the barrel. We ain't done nothing to nobody but hurt each other. Because you guys children. That's, That's right. why when you smoke that cigarette, you get to throw cancer. That's why when you smoke that blood, you get laced with fentanyl. Right. Because why? You ain't supposed to be doing that. You guys people, watch this brother before you leave. Watch this. For it is evident. It's clear as day. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. That Jesus Christ did what? Sprang out of Judah. Jesus Christ was a Jew. Right. You are a Jew, Bring it out. Jew-ish. They stole our identity, they stole our name, stole our, well, tried to steal our God, and they banished us into slavery when they thought we would be dead forever. But when you read the Bible, Christ says right he's going to pour his spirit back on the earth and start waking these people up. Start waking these people up. What you see right here is we used to be thugs and hit hoodlums and gangbangers, quote unquote criminals. But when we heard this truth, the spirit of God came upon us. The spirit of God came upon us. He put life into us. We was whoremongers. We was the dog. We was doing all the wickedness in the earth. Bring Listen, it out. Here. Amir, pay attention. Look how old are you? You 18 years old. How old are you, bro? You 24? Big, bro. Big, You supposed to be up here holding front, bro. That's right. You supposed to be up here holding front. Bring it out. Bro. But watch this. How old are you, bro? 31. You 31 years old. He 18, bro. Y'all know each other? You see him as your brother? What well, what's the agitation? You see, you see him as your brother? Huh? That's, that's exactly how we're supposed to be. Check it out. When you see your brother out there on the street struggling, you don't pull your phone out and world start trying to get out of jail down and roast them. You're supposed to cuff them up and build them up. Yeah. 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 We failed the next generation. That's why these shorties are out here lost, killing each other like it don't matter. Read. Look at Zephaniah. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Because we have to do this. Read. Gather yourselves together. You hear this, bro? Gather yourselves together! The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we got to come back to the truth that we were once the greatest nation on earth. But we failed because of what? Why do y'all think we ended up at the bottom? Give me Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 5. Bring when you look at black people, how old are you, bro? 45. Be honest with me. Name one race of people that don't want to be like black people. They follow everything we do, but bro, tell me I'm lying. Everything black people do, everybody else want to follow and be like us. So if everybody want to be like us, how do we end up at the bottom of the world? If you go to Russia, if you go to Europe, if you go to China, they talk about you. They call you nigger. They call you capital. They call you monkey. They, everywhere you go, they got a derogatory term for us as a people. But why did this happen? We the smartest on the earth. The strongest, the fastest. We just got up a 400 years slavery. And we right back at the top of the earth. How is that? The spirit within you belongs to the creator, heaven and earth. Bring it out. You wonder, they gave us crack. They gave us fitting oil. Yeah, they gave us white women. Right. Yeah. Yet we still rise to the top. We still sit at the top because you are a son of God. Right. You can't kill what you didn't make. You can't destroy what you didn't build. Right. The white man didn't build us. They lied to us. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 25 and verse 5. They said, turn ye again now 
everyone. Everyone is talking about the Israelites. Y'all got to turn away from the wicked ways that we was living. If you was gang banging, stop the gang banging. What? Stop killing your own people. Stop this, the dope dealer. Stop destroying your own. Read. Everyone from his evil way and from the evil of your doings and the well in the land that the Lord has given unto you. Because the land was given to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Bring it up. So what do we do? We decide that everything that we get, we always want to take and destroy. Right. You get your little buddy, they let you use the car, get you what you want to do. You want to sell dope out of it. Bring it you up. You want to turn it into a steamer. Your OG let you use the car. Instead of going to find a job, you want to get out here and bust moves in. Bring it you got up. mama car hot. Because up. you can't take care of your own people. Right. Go out get, go out there, get that job. Live for your mom. Right. Live for your people. He's a ruler over all things. He named the lions, tigers, and bears. He did that. Read. Of him come we all. We come from him. Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. You see how God make a difference? He said we all come from Adam. But then it's the special people that I chose. Read that apart again. Of him come we all. So every human being on this earth descends from Adam. But watch this, read. And the people who thou hast chosen. But it's a special group of people that God chose. That's these people. Right. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We were the ones that was chosen. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Because thou madest the world for our sake. God did what? Made it the world for our sake. God made the whole world for the black man. That's right. The whole world was created for the black man to rule over it. But we decided to not rule over it and go serve white people. Now here we are in slavery. Because God said to keep the seventh day holy, right? What's the seventh day of the week? Saturday. Right. But when do they teach us to go to, to, to church? Sunday. Right. You smart, bro. They lied to us. Bring it up. Go back to Jeremiah. Look at Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 24. Watch this. Your iniquity, our sins, have turned away these things. Have turned away what? The world from us. God took away the world from us because of what? Our sins. Our sins. Yeah. Uh, read. And your sins have withholding good things from you. Our sins have hold back good things from us. You know what good things are? Prosper. Right. Being at the top of society. Right. Ruling over everybody. Right. That's what our sins got taken away from us. We was once at the top of the earth. Now here we are at the bottom, scrambling right. for change. Got our, our brothers, our old men out here nodding off, doped up, out here looking on the ground all day, GC, and if somebody dropped a rock or something, we out here bad, bro. We out here bad. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. But the thing that we're trying to tell you is the solution to the problems that we got. We got real life solution. What you're seeing is men that became truck drivers, electricians, and it wasn't because of nothing I did. This Bible put me on my feet, bro. That's right. You hear me? You hear me, bro? What's your name? What's your name? Who? Kevin. Kevin? Kevin. So what we out here showing is this my brother Marvin. I'm Joe. This bro Kevin. So what we out here showing is that why do we end up on the bottom of society? Because our sins. Because let me ask you a question, Kevin. Do you think black people are at the bottom of the barrel right now? Definitely. But the thing is, go back to Jeremiah chapter 5, 25. What caused it? Marvin, help bro out. What caused us to be at the bottom of society? Our sins, bro. Because we wanted to lie, steal, kill, and cheat. God looked out upon us and said, mm, get out of my land. Bring it and he up. took us out of Israel. Israel or Jerusalem, it'll never be peace in that land until when? Until you return back to it. Bring that up. land belongs to us. That's our land. Right. It'll never be peace in the Middle East because the people where that land belong to is over here calling themselves real niggas right. and real B-words. Watch this read. Look at Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 25. So what I'm showing you is the problem. And then we're going to bring forth solutions. Read. Your iniquity. Your what? Your iniquity. Our iniquity. Another word for iniquity is what? Sin. Sin. Sin is the breaking of what? God what? God commandments. Yes, Bring it up. Men leading by example. Nation is 
FM. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. His word. His word.